Not very many people could say they was one of 32 of anything. At his home in San Diego, Clarence Shellman is surrounded by reminders of his long and successful career coaching football in college and the NFL. This one by uh, Neil, here this jersey sign, he says, thanks for all you've done for me on and off the field. You're like a father to me. Emmett, uh, <laughs> he says, thanks for everything, coach. You are the best. Uh, players don't do those kind of things very often. Shellman spent a total of 21 years as an assistant coach in the NFL coaching Hall of Fame players like Emmett Smith and LaDainian Tomlinson. In his last 10 years with San Diego, the Chargers had just one losing season and made the playoffs five times. We were in the top five in scoring. We dominated at one point. We may have had the best team in the league. So I let my work do the talking for me. Irrespective of the success that I've had, I never gotten an interview uh, for a head job. I knew early on that it was going to be hard to get to where I wanted to go. But my thing is I wanted to work hard. And it's not enough to work hard. You have to produce. And I thought I did that. Shellman grew up in a segregated Bossier City, Louisiana. His mother was the janitor at the all-white high school. When I was little, I sold bottles and things to get cards. I had probably 100 Jim Browns. My love for the game started... <laughs> at a very small age, but intuitively also knew that the game could get me out of the situation that my family was in. His first coaching job was as a graduate assistant at the University of Houston. That was followed by stints at Army, Indiana, Arizona, and USC. And finally, the NFL. In 2007, after years as a running backs coach for several teams, Shellman was promoted to be offensive coordinator for the Chargers, but under head coach Norv Turner, he never got a chance to call plays. There was this sort of unwritten rule in the NFL, if you didn't call the plays, it's going to be hard to get a head job. Now, let's face it, that only was applicable to certain people. There's a lot of guys in the league that have not called plays that are head coaches. Over the years, he saw former colleagues and players get head coaching opportunities that for him were always just out of reach. I don't begrudge them. I think it's excellent. I was happy for them all to get the jobs. But I'm not gonna sit in and say they, they were any better coach than me. No, I could certainly do what they did, if not better. And in 2012, he retired. But it's not the league, it's the owners. They make the final decision until the owners decide that they're going to look at a person that looks like me and not see my skin and just say, hey, this guy can do the job regardless of what he looks like. Then it's not going to change. 